Greetings, Jimmy1985 here, and today we'll talk about Klebsiella plant E. coli, the GMO that almost destroyed the world. To get the soil ready for the next harvest, drastic and controversial measures are taken especially if the previous months have been extraordinarily wet. One of these drastic measures is a practice of burning plant residues to blacken the soil and to prevent disease. However, this is a serious cause of air pollution and has even led to some deaths due to car accidents caused by hazardous smoke on the freeway. In the early 90s, scientists started looking for a way to decompose plant material instead and then produce alcohol and profit from it. This way, the farmers have an incentive to convert their plant residue into alcohol for many purposes, instead of just burning it. A solution involving the Klebsiella bacterium has been developed. The bacterium grows on and decomposes plant litter material. It is a very common soil organism. It is a very aggressive soil organism that lives on the roots of every plant that grows in the soil. This bacterium was chosen for those very reasons to be engineered. Genes were taken out of another bacterium and put into Klebsiella planticola in the right place to result in alcohol production from the plant debris. The EPA tested this bacterium on sterile soil, soil that was pH neutral and not like what could be found in nature. This led a team of scientists, led by Dr. Elaine Igam at Oregon State University to conduct their own studies with the reasoning, if it's sterile, then it's not really soil. Soil implies living organisms present. Agricultural soil should have 600 million bacteria in a teaspoon. The results of the testing found that when the genetically modified bacterium was put into soil that was not sterile, in other words, natural soil, the plants died. They found out that the genetically modified Klebsiella produced 17 times the fatal limit of alcohol for plants. Essentially, the engineered bacterium makes the plants drunk and then kills them. This will result in the death of all terrestrial plants because the parent bacterium has been found in the root systems of all plants where anyone has looked for its presence. This could have been the single most devastating impact on human beings since we would likely have lost corn, wheat, barley, vegetable crops, trees, conceivably all terrestrial plants. This would have taken out the very bottom of the food chain and collapsed the entire food web. Animals across the world, including humans, would eventually all starve to death. After Ingham's expose, the gene alter Klebsiella planticola was never commercialized. But Ingram points out the lack of free market safety testing of other genetically altered organisms virtually guarantees that future biological monsters will be released into the environment. Well, I hope you all liked that video and found that very interesting. Thank you for watching, and remember to live for the adventure. Bye bye.